Hi, I'm Adam Harbour, Tertiary Account Manager for Corteva AgriScience in South East Queensland and Northern New South Wales. Today, we're looking at a few tips on how to get the best out of Intrepid Edge in maize for the control of fall armyworm. Fall armyworm is a relatively new pest for Australian growers. It migrated into northern parts of Australia in the early parts of 2020. Since then, we've seen increasing damage in many crops. The insect came with established levels of resistance to many commonly used insecticides, adding another layer of complexity to its control. Fall armyworm is highly destructive, mainly due to its short life cycle, high number of eggs laid, and aggressive feeding behaviours. Larvae can become quickly entrenched, making it hard to control and resulting in entire crop loss. For many growers, fall armyworm can be a year-round pest, targeting several crops, but with a preference to grass crops like maize. Growers and industry have been working hard together to control this pest. New tools such as Intrepid Edge now form part of an integrated pest management plan. Intrepid Edge is a mix of two actives, Gemvelva and Methoxyphenazide. Intrepid Edge contains insecticides groups 5 and 18. To date, there's been a heavy reliance on group 28s for the control of form armyworm. Having an alternative is a critical factor in resistance management. We recommend using Intrepid Edge in rotation or as an alternative to group 28s. Intrepid Edge acts quickly to stop insects feeding. Residual control can vary depending on the crop's growth rate, but can last up to 21 days. Intrepid Edge has activity on all growth stages of fall armyworm, from eggs all the way to adults. Beneficial insects play a major role in the ongoing management of fall armyworm. Insect control cannot rely entirely on the application of chemical insecticides. Intrepid Edge is soft on key beneficial insects. Intrepid Edge has translaminar movement. This means the product moves through the leaf to the underside. This is important as it allows the product to reach the most common areas where fall armyworm lay their eggs. Being rain fast once dry allows more flexibility around irrigation and rain events. In many regions of Northern Australia, the critical time for maize is during establishment where fall armyworm can decimate entire crops. It's critical to apply Intrepid Edge early, that is, at the first signs of infestation or damage, targeting eggs and newly hatched larvae. As 90% of damage occurs from the third instar onwards, it's critical to apply Intrepid Edge early. Subsequent sprays should be applied when reinfestation occurs. Applications should occur at a minimum of seven days apart and a maximum of two sprays per maize crop. The spray interval will be determined by multiple factors, such as the pest density, the growth rate of the crop, and the damage that has occurred. Ongoing scouting is important. In maize, egg masses are preferentially deposited on the underside of the leaf next to the stalk. Although this is their preference, under high population pressure, eggs may be laid anywhere on the plant. As with most products, thorough coverage of the crop is essential. A key factor of coverage is water rate. The water rate will typically be informed by the crop size, but there is a minimum of 80 litres per hectare. We recommend increasing water rates as the crop grows. Remember, use Intrepid Edge at the first sign of infestation when the grubs are small. Intrepid Edge is not a Group 28. It should be used first, in rotation, or as an alternative for Group 28s. Intrepid Edge is fast acting and long lasting. Intrepid Edge has activity on all life stages, including adults, while being soft on key beneficials. Intrepid Edge has translaminar movement, so reaches where the fall army worm lays their eggs and is rainfast once dry. For more information, please visit corteva.com.au.